All right. It's very interesting that a talk on edge computing is placed at the very edge of the keynote session. <laughs> but I can tell you it is the next big thing. And it is going to be a four trillion economy by 2030. That's four times bigger than cloud computing. So if you missed that first wave, here's your chance. So what I'm going to do is, in the next five minutes, tell you why Edge is important, what is Edge, what are the killer apps that go with it, in which vertical markets, and then, of course, what Linux Foundation is doing to enable the Edge uh, from a unified open source perspective. Let's start at the bottom here. There is a convergence of five technology elements that is driving this edge compute phenomena, right? Uh, there's 5G. For those of you who know 4G, 5G is bigger, better, faster, lower latency, all that good stuff. But the fundamental reason why edge is relying on 5G is because of low latency. The second is microservices. So this is where applications can be written and portable through containers in any environment. Okay, right now, the only portable app that we know that can be taken across the globe is a cell phone. All right, you cannot take any other app, physical or virtual, across any of the limits. So that's very important. AI at the edge is very important for predictive maintenance and, and analytics, and it's matured enough, along with a whole bunch of hardware. Uh, and, and of course, the last piece of the puzzle is on-demand network that Jim was you know, making fun of or talking about. Uh, what these convergence of five technologies bring is it brings a whole new set of ap applications for the IoT and analytics systems, for immersive experiences like VR, AR, 360 video, uh, for autonomous devices, drones, cars, etc. cetera. And, and, and essentially, these are the apps that are going to take advantage of the lower latency and accelerated processing at the edge. So this is why this is so exciting. Of course, like any market, what is the killer app? Where do I make money, right? And it's early in the market, but if you were to summarize and ask me what are the factors that determine the app uh, and, and the nature of killer apps, it is non-traditional video, so it's not the YouTubes, and anything that is connected that moves but is not a phone, okay? Those are the big killer apps for, for the edge. In terms of the markets, the verticals that are dependent on the power of edge compute are written in this slide. And by the way, they are in a linear order. Industrial manufacturing is the highest, followed by energy, oil and gas, commerce, retail, home, automotive, and fleet, and transportation. The others are important, but there are policies and, and, and regulations that will slow down the adoption. These markets are already participating in the communities to drive edge computing closer to their apps. The next question, what is edge? Where are the edges? And this is a very simple diagram, left to right. On the top left, you have the on-prem, enterprise, manufacturing, building, hospital, you name it, uh, edge where there are devices and connected things. On the bottom, we all know that, that's the house, home, that's the home edge. Uh, one hop in is the base stations from a telecom perspective brought into a telco smart central office. And then you move in to a centralized data center like an Amazon or a Google and all. The key definition that we believe that the community has embarked on is anything that has got proximity of compute and storage, got a latency element to it, so 20 milliseconds or less latency response, and an element of mobility is what is categorized as edge, okay? So what are we doing? We're doing a project uh, under the context of what is called LF Edge Umbrella. And it consists of five projects, uh, two more in incubation, another 10 in pipeline. Um, the projects are EVE. I don't have time in to go, go to all of them, but EVE is the edge virtualization that sits on the prem. Um, the equivalent of that is the home edge as it connects all of our home into a classic API uh, economy. And then uh, there's, an, there's a uh, project called Ajax Foundry, which is kind of the anchor IoT framework. And then, of course, Acreno, which is uh, a telecom uh, use case project, but it also brings the end-to-end -end blueprints. 
These are the projects that make up LF Edge. And when you put these projects in context of other open source projects and standards, here's how the world looks. You start off with the left. You got projects like ORAN, which is a telecom radio access network where 5G comes in. Then you have all the access projects. And then they are going to interact with a whole bunch of projects on the core, like ONAP, which is the diagram you saw on the automation, Kubernetes, OpenStack, Acumos, et cetera. And then the standards that go with it are obviously on the right-hand side, um, Etsy, Etsy Mac, Automotive Edge Computing. So this is where connected cars define the standards on how they're going to come in and interact with the edge compute. And then, of course, IIC from that perspective. Um, so to sort of summarize, uh, LF Edge launched just this year with the highest number of founding members, you know, 60 plus, uh, seven plus projects, 70 plus members growing very significantly. And the goal of LF Edge is to unify the fragmented market where, you know, you have a cloud edge and an enterprise edge and an IoT edge and now a telco edge, right? How can I do a sim single framework with common APIs, abstracted connectivity, um, and, and standard lifecycle management, we, which we also call plumbing? So if you're not part of LF Edge, you know, please go to the website, lfedge.org. Uh, you can reach me after this talk. We'd love to have you participate. And remember, if you missed the first wave of cloud computing, this is four times bigger, four trillion in 2030. So thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the talks.